In this video we share Our Lady's message to Valeria Kopenai for September 14, 2022. My daughter, write, all the days that will come live them in the grace of God. Only in this way will you be able to face all that heaven will show you. We are always thinking of all of you but certainly you do not open your hearts to let us in. You have become masters of all that has been given to you and you do nothing to communicate to us all your uncertainties, pains, hopes in this empty, absurd and uncertain world. You seem happy but in truth there are no hopes, joys and thoughts in your hearts that can fill your hearts. Children, if you do not start praying again from the bottom of your hearts, it will be the end for you. I am here not to scare you but to make you reflect and choose Jesus the Father and the Holy Spirit, only in this way will you be able to find the road that leads to eternal life. You are taken by what will lead you nowhere, the earth with all that it contains will end, as will your human body, your joys and your pains. The Son of God will take back what belongs to Him and all those of you who have believed in His life, death on the cross and resurrection, will win a place in eternity. Repent of your shortcomings and heaven will open for you. I bless you. Mary Mother of Jesus Valeria Copani's story of receiving locutions from heaven started when she was in Lourdes accompanying her military husband on pilgrimage. There she heard a voice that she identified as her guardian angel, telling her to get up. He then presented her to Our Lady, who said, You will be my Senecal, a term she only understood years later when a priest used it in the context of the prayer group she started in home city of Rome, Italy. It was Father Gabriele Amorth who encouraged Valeria to diffuse her messages outside the prayer cenacle. The attitude of the clergy is predictably mixed, some priests are skeptical, while others participate fully in the cenacle. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.